<laughs> what is going on guys it is a fine fine super fine day here in southwest pa and i am so freaking excited because i am on my way to the dealership to finally get my new tires these tires are so worn they have uh 68 4 6849 miles on them and they definitely feel it uh didn't want it to go this long but you know it is kind of like a financial thing tires are expensive everything is absolutely expensive but uh yeah i'm super excited it's gonna feel so different because like as you wear these tires down they get flat and whenever they get flat like that well one it's 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 not good for obviously traction but it uh it makes the tire feel like it's always always flat and just super freaking sluggish like it just feels super freaking sluggish and uh it's it's just not a good thing all around you know it's obviously not bad but you know we're getting up here to the dealership i'm going to get off and uh show the uh show the tires real quick and then get them put on and then we will have a uh, little uh first impressions of said motorcycle tires all right guys we are here wait till you see these freaking tires Oh, if you're not already aware, but yeah, see, look, the wires are showing completely. They're like completely flatted. These grooves for dispersing rain are completely useless at this point, and it is completely, completely done. Oh, nice little motorcycle. All right, I'll be back. What is going on, guys? All right. I am super excited, finally got the new tires on. This is going to feel absolutely insane. I got the new tires and I actually got uh, my brakes put on it too. This is them, this is them, Michelin Road 5. Say look, absolutely gorgeous. This is supposed to again get wider as the tire wears show you the fronts just as adorable love it it is such an insane insane difference guys all right sorry i'll let you get back to the regular video oh my god that is <laughs> uh that is insane how different it feels. Brakes feel good. Wow. Yeah, man. Like, it just feels... It feels like a brand new freaking bike, man. That's crazy. Yeah, so I'm... Uh, if I didn't mention or whatever, um, these are Bridgestone... Or, or I'm sorry, R Michelin Road 5s. And uh, they are like a, uh, a, a touring tire, uh, specifically for the rain and all that stuff. They got a harder compound on them and all that stuff too. So, oh, uh, this just feels so much different, guys. Like, with that tire the way it was, it felt, um, it just felt like it was freaking, uh, Like, it just felt like it was um, loose all the time. Like, absolutely insane. Like, it just felt like a flat tire. But with this, like, oh, it just bobs and weaves so much. It's so freaking nice. Oh, holy crap. That is such an insane difference. And we got the brakes going. So, oh, that's such a nice thing, too. To have fresh brakes they need it done so bad matt i'm really sorry i know that you know you and i spoke and we we're going to make a video and put the brakes on they actually gave me a crazy deal on them they put them on for 50 bucks because they needed done so bad and it, it's it's crazy because they wanted a lot of money 
to like buy the brakes themselves but since I already had the brakes uh, she's not even looking there's this black cyber truck I see those things all the time now but um yeah since uh I already have my brake pads with me like I bought the brakes they threw them on for like 50 bucks or whatever and I'm like I can't beat that like it needs done that freaking bad so it, it kind of is what it is but I am so so excited to have new tires and new brakes on this freaking bike guys it has been needed done so freaking bad I'm sure this is all freaking up Ugh. so I don't lose my phone or my wallet or anything like that it's so freaking hot come on guys it's so freaking hot it's so freaking hot but yeah I'm actually really excited to like talk to you guys like for real for real too because I've been doing those stupid voiceovers and I really don't like them it's just been uh, I've been having a lot of personal issues and then I keep having auditorial issues with the freaking nice dude I keep having audio issues with the the GoPro and all that so I got another new adapter so we'll see how this one we'll see how this one works or whatever but uh we'll see what happens but yeah hey what's up guys it's nice to nice to hear from you guys who's beeping who is freaking beeping oh yeah i gotta take it nice and easy because it's got uh get a knock out that compound but dude the bike behaves so nice yeah with that with the the tires how they were man like i said it flattens out on the top and it just feels so sluggish the bike doesn't behave correctly like it takes a lot more force to turn the bike to push the bike in the direction you want to go um and then it like snaps back because it's trying to level out on that nice even well not nice even but on that flat surface so that's pretty wild i don't know why the bike feels like extra vibrating right now but i don't know i don't know but i'm so freaking happy that i got these tires it was so so well needed and i gotta make sure that i reset my odometer six eight five two okay we can remember that please be paying attention to me tiff Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, I don't know. What what can I like talk to you guys about? This is just kind of like a just a uh, first reaction or whatever to these tires. So it's it's not that big of a deal or not that big of a video. I just wanted to, you know, come out here and and show you guys and all that stuff. I know that some of you have expressed concern about oh my goodness the tire situation. And it was indeed a tire situation but it is now fixed and we are good to freaking go good to freaking go guys yeah one weird thing though that they uh they're like hey your train's a little loose eighty dollars we're tightening it i'm like well don't you have to do that anyways whenever you um take up a rear tire because you're, you're taking off a whole tire like isn't that like just kind of part of it and she said no we don't touch the adjusters i'm like oh well no i'm not paying eighty dollars for something that i can just do myself that you do do yourself like i'm not doing that i just thought it was you know what i mean like i thought since they took off the rear tire it was just like yeah i gotta put that chain back on but hey what do i know i'm not uh a mechanic mechanically inclined i guess it does make sense that they wouldn't touch the whatchamacallit but i don't know i don't freaking know uh 
such a night and day difference. Holy crap. Holy freaking crap. I don't know. I guess it's a horrible video. I guess I'm just I'm just bullshit and there's there's not much to talk about. I mean, I do have stuff to talk about the channel and stuff like that, but you know. We uh we'll talk about that later. As far as the tires themselves go, again these are Michelin Road 5s. I am very excited to see them in action. They look absolutely great. They feel absolutely great. And uh, it is indeed a great way to stay in shape. Oi, 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 oi. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. I'm just sorry. I'm just cheesing, man, because I'm so. Oh, I'm so happy that I got these tires put on and then I got the brakes on I didn't even think I was going to get the brakes put on but that is such a nice 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 peace of mind man because those brakes were bad and what happens with brakes right the the we guys on the um, uh, cylinder you know when they they apply brake pressure or whatever I don't know the pistons I'm assuming is what they are uh, they will eventually get corroded and they will get gunked up and they can actually lock in place and that's a very bad situation so I'm assuming that Mosides I'm assuming that Mosides did their job uh, the way they were supposed to and they cleaned off those really well the brakes do feel nice I should do like a quick emergency stop but she's behind me and not that I don't think that she's not paying attention I just would much rather not. Would much rather not. She make that light good. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. Oh, yes. But I don't know, guys. I'm sorry. This isn't a very good video. This is just me being happy that I got my tires and brakes put on. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll let you guys go because there's, there's not much to really talk about you know uh, I'm doing okay um, I'm starting to you know get my shit together as far as whatever that means um, I still I still got to figure out exactly what I'm doing with my channel um, I was talking with Matt Underwood and you know we were kind of going back and forth and you know I think my problem with my channel is like I got too many things going on and I really need to like narrow things down and focus on specific things because that's kind of what I always do in life like I'm never an expert at any one thing I'm very proficient with a bunch of different things now is that good is that bad you know I don't know I guess it could go either which way or whatever but you know it's just things that I got to figure out and there was a lot of extra stress going on unnecessary extra stress going on with all the dealerships working with me and stuff because it's like i want to help them and appease them and then it puts an extra time on my hands not only filming and editing but getting things up and then the artistic side of it of editing and it was becoming a lot man and it it, it was starting to become to the point where it was like kind of making me shut down and I'm finally starting to get out of that. That and it's just been entirely too freaking hot. Like it's just been too hot. I, I'm, I'm not a fan of the heat as a lot of you guys may know. Um, so because it's been hot, I haven't been riding. And then again, with the microphone issue, I hope this audio picks up because if not, it's gonna really tick me off. So just kind of see what happens. The tires feel so nice, man. That's insane. So much nicer. Oh, and it smells nice out. It smells like fun day in elementary school. I don't know if you guys had like a fun day in elementary school. It was like the, the last week or so of school. And um, it was like a carnival thing. Like all the teachers set up their little carnival things and you had there's that one toy with like the hand that like kind of claps around or whatever that was like a big go-to 
or any kind of bouncy ball. I don't know, it's just kind of what it smelled like. But I want to go ahead and let you guys go because this is um, not a very good episode. Uh, this is just kind of, yeah, just finally got the tires put on, man. Got the tires, got the brakes. Uh, I just kind of wanted to give a, a initial reaction of how everything feels. Because again, whenever that tire is like wore out and flat like that, it takes a lot of pressure to, to really push that bike around too. And with this is like, I'm barely doing anything and it's just, it's just going. It's just so freaking nice. Absolutely gorgeous. Feels fantastic. But if you guys enjoyed this video for, you know, whatever reason, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. As soon as I stop and I can, you know, shut off the camera and all that stuff okay i'll see you guys later oh, one thing i also like to do real quick if i can remember how to do it is reset trip a that's where my tires are at so i know how many miles i put on my tires all right guys thanks again for watching i will see you in the next one